Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show where I give my opinion on today's latest hot topics. And we are brought to you by Jags. Jags, the leader in high performance aftermarket car parts. Remember to go to jags.com and they got Jeep parts and truck parts. All right, I did, I did a Kenny Wallace show about Kyle Larson deserving a waiver, but we have got drama. We have got complete chaos. Uh, everybody in NASCAR media right now, right here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway, they are about ready to lose their ever friggin' mind. All the media here in St. Louis, they're like, NASCAR has not announced anything right now. This is getting out of hand. Now, this is what they're saying. I'm going to tell you right now what NASCAR needs to do. All right, let's start like this. Right now, the history of the waiver is very vague. They have been giving drivers waivers for years over silly stuff. Uh, so because of that, Kyle Larson will get a waiver. If he does not get a waiver, then what? Then you're going to have the greatest race car driver in our era not race for a championship. Now, I don't mean to be blunt, but I'm going to. How stupid is that? How dumb is that? And here's why. Because, see, I got to remind you because you didn't hear me. They have already given waivers out the gazoo. They've already given waivers out. If you go back on X, everybody has been giving you examples. This guy got a waiver. Uh, this guy got a waiver. You know, even look at Kyle Busch. He was taking a chance. He was running in the Xfinity series. What is he doing that for? You know you can get hurt. Kyle Busch was over there in the Xfinity series. Oh, no, no. No, don't go there. Don't go. It was under the NASCAR banner, was it? Oh, no. Yes, but he was still taking a chance. Remember, it was like yesterday. You all did not want any of these cup drivers in the Xfinity series. That's what you said. The cup drivers are ruining the Xfinity series. It's not giving today's drivers a chance to prove their ability. So, Kyle Busch runs an Xfinity race at Daytona, breaks his foot, and they give, they give him a waiver, and he goes on and wins the championship. So it can be said, same thing. Listen, cup's up here, Xfinity's down here. I'm the king of that. I have run more Xfinity races than anybody. I am still the leader in the most Xfinity starts at 550-something. So I know what I'm talking about. So when I do these shows, know that it comes from a place of, you know, and, and I'm embarrassed. I embarrass myself. Do you know I've got 905 NASCAR starts? Do you know I'm still the leader in the most starts in the Xfinity series? I'm bragging on myself to make a point with you all. I don't want to do that, but I've got to remind you. It falls underneath Uncle Rusty. Rusty says, Herm, it's sad to say you got to remind people because they remember what they want to. I know what the hell I'm talking about. All right? NASCAR will give Kyle Larson a waiver. You're just going to have to wait. Here's what NASCAR is doing right now. They're either doing two things. They're either drawing up new rules. Most likely, they're going to come out. They're going to go, look, our rules have been very vague in the past. The waiver rule. NASCAR is going to come back. I'm repeating myself. NASCAR is going to come out. Eventually, and they're going to go, Kyle Larson's going to get a waiver. And we have been guilty of being very vague at the waiver. So now we're going to take this opportunity to give you the hard rules. Because once again, I'm repeating myself, NASCAR has been giving waivers out to everybody. It's kind of like the Oprah show. You get a waiver, you get a waiver, you get a waiver. You know, so that's just the way it is. Kyle Larson is going to get a waiver because you simply cannot have the world's greatest race world. Yes, W-O-R-L-D. So you say Max Verstappen is better? 
then Kyle Larson, well, let's go at it. Let's put them together. I say it. I say Kyle Larson is the greatest race car driver in the world, and here's why. Because he runs open wheel midgets. He runs wing sprint cars. He wins on road courses. He wins on the big tracks. He does it all. Comment below. Give me your opinion. Like and subscribe. Come on, join the conversation. Why is Max Verstappen better than Kyle Larson? So you're saying, why are you going, why are you going on this tangent, Herman? I'm going on this tangent because you cannot have the greatest race car driver in the world kicked out a NASCAR championship because he went and ran the greatest race in the world. Now listen, some of you are going to say, I hear, and see, that's the thing with me. It's not that I'm cocky. I already know what you've all said. So I'm addressing, I am addressing what you all say. You're saying, he decided to go run this race over his real job. <coughs> a little sarcastic. I'm cocky right now. <coughs> Look, I'm cocky. I'm cocky. <coughs> Guess why he went and ran the Indy 500? Because where his paycheck comes from. Kyle Larson's paycheck comes from the man that financed the IndyCar whole Indy 500 deal, Rick Hendrick. Rick Hendrick sponsored the car, HendrickCars.com. Rick Hendrick said, we're staying here. Kyle, it wasn't all Kyle. Hey, you sit here and you go, well, Kyle Larson, it was his decision. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I like aggravating you all. It was not Kyle Larson's decision. It was Rick Hendrick. It was his decision. That's why over here at the Worldwide Technology Raceway, they're trying to provoke. Pro oh, wow, Herman, get the shit out of your mouth. They're trying to be provocative. Kyle, hey, Kyle, why aren't you? Talk about this, Kyle, come on. Kyle's like, I ain't touching it because I don't have no skin in the game. Go talk to my car owner, Rick Hendrick. He's the one that said, we're running the Indy 500. Rick Hendrick is the one that is paying Kyle Larson. So, and then another reason. Kyle Larson goes to the Coke 600 and it's rained out. There's 150 laps left in the race. They didn't even, they didn't even come close to finishing the Coke 600. Respond right here. Tell me how wrong I am. Oh, it was past halfway. Oh, now, now to benefit you, now you're gonna say it was past halfway. Bullshit. It was 150 laps ago. Kyle Larson was most likely going to win the Coke 600. So, number one, you don't want the world's greatest race car drivers kicked out of NASCAR in, in the championship chase. I'm going to end like this. They are going to give a waiver to Kyle Larson because NASCAR has given so many waivers out in the past. Galore waivers. Oh, th this guy had a cold. He gets a waiver. Uh, Kyle Busch broke his leg in the Xfinity race. He gets a waiver. No, I don't want to hear that it was under the, under the NASCAR banner. No. Okay, so NASCAR is going to come out. And if they don't, if they don't, they're wrong. I'm right because I say so. NASCAR's waiver, I'm repeating myself because I, I got to end repeating myself because it's the last thing you're going to hear. NASCAR is going to grant Kyle Larson's a waiver, and they're going to come out. They're going to go, listen, Kyle gets a waiver, and here's our new rules going forward. That's why it's taken NASCAR so long to answer you all. They want it to die down, and they're going to give him a waiver, and they're going to go, here are the new rules moving forward. All right. Like and subscribe right here. I already did a video, all right? And by the way, I understand I'm echoing everywhere. It's because Charlie's on vacation, and I can't do it on my computer. I was forced. Yes, I was, they broke my arm. They said, you got to do a video because the NASCAR Media Center at Gateway is going nuts over this. I did my best. All right, everybody. Remember, we're in podcast form. Check us out on iTunes and Spotify. Remember to like and subscribe. Tell me how wrong I am. Join the conversation. I told you exactly what's going to happen. Until next time. <laughs>